This video will show you how to replace your front ABS wheel speed sensor on this Subaru Outback. This will be located behind your front wheel. Let's get into it. Okay friend, let's get started on our job. To replace the right front ABS wheel speed sensor, we're on the passenger side of the engine compartment. We can see our ABS unit. Now we're going to make our way straight down along the body of the vehicle and this is where we're going to find our electrical connector. Now we can see the connector right down here. It has a locking tab. I'm going to use a small pocket screwdriver to carefully depress the locking tab, gently pry, and this should pull out of place. Once you have that disconnected, a quick inspection for corrosion if you see any, it needs to be taken care of, especially on the side that's attached to the wiring harness of the vehicle. Now continue following that wiring harness, you're going to find that there's a small rubber grommet. As far as that rubber grommet's concerned, carefully press it through the body of the vehicle into the passenger side wheel well. Now if you find you have a hard time pressing this through by hand, you can use an angled pick or even a screwdriver. Just be careful not to hurt yourself. I have my angled pick, I'm going to press this through the body of the vehicle. And that electrical connector slides right through as well. Now we're pausing inside the engine compartment. Let's safely raise and support the front end of the vehicle so we can remove our passenger side front wheel. Once you've done that, we're going to continue on to removing all five of our 19 millimeter lug nuts. If your vehicle has a locking lug nut, you're going to want to have the lug nut key. Take that key, we're going to rest it on the locking lug nut and turn it one direction or the other until it feels as though it's seated. Now let's remove all five of these lug nuts. Now that we have that wheel off, we have a clear view of our ABS wheel speed sensor wiring harness. It leads along the body of the vehicle. We can see the port in the body of the vehicle where that connector has to slide through. Now we have two mounting areas here. I'm just going to pry them out of place. You can use a flat blade screwdriver or a trim tool, whatever's easiest for you. Now in the next mounting area here, to dislodge this, you're going to find that you have a small metal ear that bends over this area. Now as far as the plastic clip, it has four locking tabs and we need to squeeze them all in at the same time. So I'm just going to gently flex this out of position so it's not blocking this area. I'm using pliers for this. Now that we have that flexed out of the way, we're going to continue on with a 10 millimeter socket. We'll just slide that right over the tip here, squeeze in on those tabs and we should be able to dislodge this. There we are. Just a quick inspection of that. And now we can follow that all the way down to the ABS wheel speed sensor, which is attached to our steering knuckle along the back side here. Now we can see a 10 millimeter mounting bolt holding our ABS wheel speed sensor in place to the steering knuckle. I'm going to remove the bolt. We'll use some penetrant in this area, and then we're going to attempt to break this free. Now, as far as these sensors, it's common for them to be stuck inside of the steering knuckle. What I like to do is take hold of the sensor. We're going to attempt to give it a tiny twist one direction and the other. While we're twisting, once you find that it breaks free, continue on by carefully pulling it up and away from the steering knuckle. I've got my pliers here. I can see movement. Slide it away. Once you do have it removed, you need to give it a thorough inspection. If you can't see this portion of the sensor, it's probably broken and it's stuck in the steering knuckle. If that's the case, you're going to have to carefully remove it. There it is, friend. Now that we have the sensor out of position, the next thing we have to do is clean and inspect the mounting surface, especially on our steering knuckle. It's common to have rust or miscellaneous debris in this area. I'm going to use a bore brush, but you can also use some fine grit sandpaper. If you are using a bore brush, make sure you have it spinning in the direction that it pulls the debris up and out, not forcing it in. <laughs> 
We'll also confirm that we have a flat surface here. Now let's install our brand new ABS wheel speed sensor. We're going to start with the sensor itself, leading it down into our steering knuckle. Now as I bring this in, I'm sliding the sensor into my steering knuckle. There should be no resistance. Align the mounting bolt port and we'll start in our mounting bolt. As far as that mounting bolt, I always like to use some anti-seize. seize once you have it started in, snug it up and torque that to 66 inch pounds. We're continuing on to our mounting points. Starting at that front strut, go ahead and align it with the bracket. Press it in, listen for an audible click, and make sure it's secured. Now, as far as that metal tab, go ahead and peen it over so it's facing back towards that clip. You can use a hammer or even continue on with your pliers, whatever's easiest for you. Just a couple light taps there. Now, as far as bringing this wire over, we wanna make sure we have it going up and leading down as it makes its way towards this port. Now we have the next mounting point right next to it. Continuing on, we're going to bring the connector through the body of the vehicle and we're going to secure our rubber plug into the port. Now, as we bring the rubber grommet into place, you can see that it has a small groove. That's for the body of the vehicle. Let's go ahead and start pressing this in. We're going to start on one side, start rolling it in. If you need to, you can use a small prying device to help it into the proper positioning. A quick tip about this, it may help to add some lubricant to help this slide into place. One last quick inspection in this area and we can reinstall our wheel. Once you have the wheel in place, we're going to tighten all five of our 19 millimeter lug nuts. If you do have a wheel lock, of course you're going to snug that as well. We'll get the wheel back on the ground and then we can torque each of these to 90 foot pounds. We've got the wheel back on the ground. We're going to be torquing each of our lug nuts in a crisscross manner to that 90 foot pounds. Torqued. Go ahead and remove that key. Now we're done down here. Let's make our way back into the engine compartment. Now back up inside the engine compartment, the first thing I always do is take hold of the wiring harness and give it a wiggle. I'm confirming that the sealing boot is properly installed in the body of the vehicle. Continue on to the electrical connector next. Align your locking tabs, press it in, listen for a click. After an audible click, we're going to give this a light tug, confirming it's properly secured. Okay friend, we finished our installation. The next thing you have to do is close the hood and take your vehicle for a road test. Confirm you have no ABS light on the dash. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.